today we're going to check out how we can achieve that classic old school tape delay using only a ordinary tape deck like this Techniques deck. Now this will be a very rudimentary simple way of achieving that tape delay effect but we can achieve a tape delay echo and some feedback as well. And this is the cassette deck we're going to use, a Techniques RSAZ6, a three-headed hi-fi cassette deck. And it has to be a three-headed deck where the uh, record head and the tape monitoring head are physically separated. And if you take a look at the internals here, you see the raise head to the left and in the middle with the yellow label, you have the recorder head. And just to the right of that, the tape head, the monitoring head. And it's this physical separation that determines the delay length we'll achieve later. If you check out the deck below, this is a two head tape recorder and you have the eraser head to the left and a combined record and tape head in the middle. This will not work. And you also have to be able to switch between listening to the recording head or the tape monitoring head as the tape runs along with the recorded material, which are going to be the source for our tape delays. So this is important, a three-headed cassette deck with the ability to monitor through the tape head. That's necessary. So the way we're going to hook this up, I'm going to take a stereo auxiliary send out of the SSL mixer, which is now hooked up to the patch bay. I take that output and feed that into the recording in on the cassette deck itself through its phono jacks at the back here. And that means I can feed the recorder with a auxiliary send from the channel which I want to use as the source of a delay effect later. And I take the outputs of the cassette recorder and pipe that back into two available channels on my SSL mixer as the effects return. Again, I have all my mixer's inputs and outputs hooked up to my patch base for easy access and connectivity. Okay, so how this will work now is I have my vocal track on this fader here, and on the fader to the right of it, I have the effects return from the tape recorder. So every delay effect will come into that fader, and I can just adjust that to taste on how much of the effect I want to hear blended in with my vocal track to the left of it, the dry signal. The kicker here is that I can use the auxiliary send of the effects return itself to get some feedback. I'll get back to that shortly. So now it's time to insert a cassette into the deck and put it in record mode and start the tape recording. And again, be sure that you monitor through the tape head of the recorder, otherwise you won't get the delay, the physical delay, between the recorder head and the tape head. And again, remember, it's the physical length between the recorder head and the tape head that determines the amount of delay you're going to get from this setup. So in this setup, we won't get a long delay, it's more of a slapback delay, but that can be pretty cool as well. So let's start the project and listen to the vocal. This is a demo vocal from an earlier song, so don't take it too serious. Let's have a listen. I want to know now, was it right So I have my dry vocal here, and now I can adjust to taste by sending the auxiliary send out to the tape recorder and turning up the fader to the right of the vocal to hear the slapback effect coming off the spinning tape, which is recording the dry vocal, and returning it through the tape head. I wanna know now, was it right for you? So that's the dry signal. Now let's enable the auxiliary send and feed it to the tape recorder and listen back through that uh, fader to the right. I wanna know now, was it right for you? So this is analog tape delay. And I wanna know now, how does it feel? Walking away. I wanna know now, was it right for you? But let's send some of the effect returns back to the recorder itself to achieve some feedback. I wanna know now. That's pretty cool. I wanna know now. Was it right for you? I wanna know now. Was it right for you? I. I wanna. 
Get an even nicer vocal sound here. I'll use another auxiliary send on the mixer and feed some of the dry vocal to the AMS Neve RMX 16 reverb unit above it so we can get both some reverb going and the analog tape delay on the vocal track itself. And I wanna know now, how does it feel? Walking away. how you do it. Well, this tape deck is no replacement for a Roland Space Echo or any of the classic uh, tape delay machines. Far from it, but uh, limitations force creativity and you can get some cool effects going. I like to use uh, limitations creatively and this is one example of that. If you have comments, please leave them in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Cheers! A big thanks to my friend Anders Jensen for loaning me his three-headed techniques deck for this uh, video.